Hello everyone, welcome to the garden. Working in the garden is a real pleasure. We love our garden and taking care of our flowers and trees is so involving that we forget about everything else, including ourselves. I am Sandra Lange and if you like easy, pleasing, painless gardening and enjoying nature, subscribe to get all the tips and ideas I bring to you from a lifelong experience as a gardener and landscape designer. Exercising is very beneficial to our health. The same can be said about spending time outdoors, surrounded by nature. And when that nature is our own garden, that you are growing from seed, maintaining with love and attention, we might not even realize in the moment that we are exercising and that we can hurt ourselves by doing a repetitive task for too long without even doing any warm-up. We see something that needs to be done and we get out of the door and go right into it. No, not so fast. Today I'm going to share with you some quick and easy movements that I use just as a warm-up to protect knees and back, as well as sharing my favorite gardening positions to help you enjoy a painless and easy gardening time for years and decades to come. We can do this forever, can we? Okay, so let's get started and do some warm-up before getting down to the knees or bending and twisting or anything like that. By the way, I do not recommend gardening on your knees. Just don't do it. And avoid knee injury and pain. We are here in the grassy area or a patio or a deck where you have a small patch of level area around you. Let's start with a few light stretches. Very light, just to loosen up any tension. Slowly and not forcing anything just your comfortable range of movements. Now we are going to bend our knees while keeping the back as straight as possible. Feet parallel or feet turned out, whatever feels better to you. Bend a few times, then come back up slowly. Moving side to side, go just as deep as you feel comfortable. As you keep doing these warm-ups, you will increase your range of motion, but start easy. Now bend forward at the waist and reach out and down, only as much as you can. If you can go all the way down, that's fantastic. Now with bent knees, touch the ground and come up slowly. These dynamic positions are great to keep up with the flowers, be it gently removing the rose petals that are ready to go, or to string heavier flowers in full bloom so they last longer, or to collect dandelion flowers before they turn to seed. Now we are going to bend the knees again and aim at a low squatting position. I find this the best position to work on tasks close to the ground, such as planting seedlings. If you don't feel like squatting all the way down, a very comfortable position that I use the most is sitting on the ground sideways to the plants I'm working on. I use that a lot. You can also use a low to the ground stool. Warm up and sit down slowly. Use your hand to help you sit. Stretch forward a little. And the stool is great to take care of those mid-height plants, such as berries. Get up slowly, use your hands and push the stool down as you get up. After doing your gardening tasks for the day, stretch your back lightly again and also loosen your legs, arms, 
shoulders and neck gently. My gardening style and what I recommend here is very low maintenance. So you can keep slow gardening through the seasons and the years a bit at a time. Let me know in the comment section how much time you have spent in a working spree in your own garden. I once hurt my knee while reading the flower band for five hours without warming up or taking any breaks. I do not recommend that. So let's do something fun and taking care of ourselves. Let's check the leaves of this willow. A woodland garden like mine also requires active gardening, like pruning the trees and taking care of the leaves. There are certain pests that attack our leaves and can damage your whole tree. I do not use any products to treat those pests. And instead, I take care of the leaves one by one and I use my nails to clean the leaves. You can use a tool if you don't want to use your nails, but I do and I clean my nails very well with an old toothbrush and lots of hand soap afterwards. That is a lot of fun there too. Like I said, I do it a bit at a time and I have quite a nice time in this early summer evening in the garden by my trees. I use all of my range of motion to get a bit of loving care to all of these big trees. Working close to the ground, mid-range, and right up to the skies, and I do need to prune these trees a bit. I hope you have enjoyed the video and that you can apply some of these techniques to your own gardening routine. Subscribe for more videos in the garden and in nature and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!